Martin, welcome to Albion. How happy are you to be here? Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm made up to, to be here, to, to come down to the training ground, be shown around and with a manager like Steve Bruce, it's, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for me to, to show him and, and the fans, as well as my teammates, what I can do for this team going forward. What was it that, that really convinced you that this was the place for you? I think the size of the club. I think you know me growing up and and, and playing the career in the, in the Premier League. I've been used to West Brom being part of that, and I believe that the they should be in the Premier League. It's um, it's not been a hard decision for me to make when I realised that Steve, you know, wanted me here to to help his team. So it, it was it was an easy decision in that sense, and. I've played, you know, at the Hawthorns a, a good few times, whether it be with with England youth in the past or in the Premier League. So, it's always a, from what I can remember, a, a tough place to go. And uh, you know, I'm happy to have signed to try and give the fans, you know, the, the best possible results that they're looking for come come this season. You touched on it there. You've got bags of Premier League experience, Martin. How much are you looking forward to to getting started and utilising that? Yeah, you know what, I'm 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 buzzing to be getting started. It's been strange for me this this summer having for the first time being a free agent off the back of, you know, having a frustrating season last season. Um for whatever reason I didn't play as much as I'd like to. Um I was fit and raring to play. Um felt like I still had the attributes to play at, at the Premier League level, but you know, going forward I wanna help a team reach their fr uh, true potential I feel like a, a club the size of West Brom it's a, it's a great opportunity for you know me to give w the West Brom and the team here the attributes that I bring to the team as well as, as them you know helping me uh, and my game that it's um, it's been a, a great you know time I've had over the, the past few years at Palace but I'm really looking forward to to starting with West Brom, who's such a, a big club and an exciting time to be here with, with such a, an established manager. Yeah, it must have been a really interesting summer for you. I mean, I, I'm assuming you had plenty of chances to assess your options. Yeah, I think it was a time of, um, the, we had a busy summer, summer, me and the family, and we was always looking to, to head back up, up north um, once my, 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 my um, career, uh, my contract ended. Uh, at Palace, so it was time to to really think about going forward what what I wanted as a player, what I want to see this next few years looking like, and I feel like I've got so much to offer still at, at this this and this level and higher. So it's it, it was um, you know a discussion amongst ourselves with with the family, and when when this opportunity came came around, it was it was one that you know I acted on you know fast. Um, and with no, with no hesitation, the size of the club. You, you touched on the gaffer as well earlier. How much of a draw was he for you, having you know had that dialogue with him? Yeah, I think I think he was you know a really big part of that. Me looking over my career, the managers I've had, the experience of of them managers have not really. I, it was probably Patrick who had the least amount of experience out of them, and I'm sure he'll go on to be a great manager. But the likes of Roy Hodgson and you know. Sam Allardyce, Alan Pardew, Rafa Benitez, even Brendan Rodgers, they all had Premier League experience and, and Steve's got that, he's, he's, he's a top manager from what I've met him only you know, five minutes now but he seems such a, a really good bloke who, who doesn't, let, you know, doesn't miss, miss a trick type thing so he, he seems the, the type of, of manager that is going to help me reach you know, the, the heights that I can reach at, at, at this team and, and help it as best, best as I can. And I'm sure you're looking forward to, to getting to know your, your new teammates. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I've I've met a couple of them there before, but just getting back into into you know a team environment and and doing what I've been used to doing for you know the past fourteen, fifteen seasons, it's um it, it it's going to be amazing getting my boots back on and and with a little bit of help from the you know S and C coaches and stuff, getting my fitness back and and enjoying playing in such competitive league with the championship I've had you know a few weeks looking at the the teams the results and the squads and I think this year looking it's as uh, as competitive as, as ever you see teams beating teams that you know on on, on the build up you you presume to win but it doesn't doesn't work like that in this league there's 
there's a lot of good teams and I feel like I've, I've put myself in a, in a, a great set up here, a great team with a, a really good manager and co coaching staff and I'm really looking, looking forward to it. And finally, Martin, obviously for us the aim is always battling for those top spots and, and earning promotion. How much are you embracing that challenge? Yeah, I think for me coming from the Premier League, I would you know, have liked to have stayed in that league and for me not to have played for the past couple, you know, um, I haven't, I want to I wanna give all that I can offer to this team and, and to help strive towards their goal, which is from what I'm, you know, used to and all you guys are used to being in the Premier League, you can see it when you come around the, the training ground and go down to the stadium, it's, it's a Premier League set up and I'm here to, to try and, you know, be a small part of, of that um, along with the, the other great players in the dressing room as, as well as the fans you know getting behind us each week trying to trying to push us and all pointing in, in the right direction.